Hi, my name is Nicole Hemingway, and I am the CEO of the U.S. Pain Foundation, a national nonprofit dedicated to improving the quality of life and health outcomes for people living with chronic pain. Chronic pain affects millions of Americans, significantly impacting their daily lives and overall well being. September is Pain Awareness Month, 30 days that are nationally dedicated to increasing public awareness about pain and its devastating impact on individuals, families, communities, and the nation. Each week during the month, we will dive into a different aspect of chronic pain. This information shared complements our pain series. Today, we will delve into the statistics and realities of living with chronic pain. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, almost 21% of the U.S. population, equating to 51.6 million adults, lives with chronic pain. Of these, 17.1 million individuals suffer from high impact chronic pain, which severely limits their ability to work and participate in daily activities. The CDC data reveals higher rates of chronic pain among certain populations, including American Indian and Alaska Native adults, bisexual individuals, rural residents, and those facing economic challenges. Various demographic groups, such as older adults, women, veterans, and individuals with public health insurance also experience heightened rates of chronic pain. The prevalence of chronic pain is growing at a faster rate than other major conditions like depression, diabetes, and hypertension, as highlighted by the National Institutes of Health. The escalating number of Americans in pain underscores the urgent need for greater understanding, research, and treatment options. The definition of pain, according to the International Association for the Study of Pain, or IASP, is an unpleasant sensory and emotional experience linked to actual or potential tissue damage. Not all pain is equal when it comes to its cause, progression, or effective treatment strategy. We first need to understand the terms we use. Chronic pain persists or recurs for longer than three months often becoming a primary clinical concern requiring specialized evaluation and management. This is different from acute pain, which the Cleveland Clinic notes is pain that comes on suddenly and is caused by something specific. Acute pain is time limited. It lasts less than three months. Chronic pain extends beyond the duration of the initial injury or illness, or in the case of a chronic disease or condition that led to the pain, it may coexist with the chronic condition. We now understand from neuroscience research that chronic pain causes changes in the nervous system, spinal cord, and brain, and can be considered a disease itself. Unlike acute pain, chronic pain does not serve a protective function, such as warning the body that something is wrong after an injury. Chronic pain can significantly reduce a person's quality of life. 
It is different for every person, from the initial underlying cause to what it feels like. Chronic pain may burn. It may ache, stab, or pulse. And for others, it may bring about a whole host of different sensations. These sensations can occur anywhere in the body. They can range from mild to severe, intermittent to continuous, and distracting to disabling. Chronic pain poses unique challenges for effective management. There is no one size fits all approach to treatment. Every person with pain responds differently to various therapies, even when they have the same condition or injury. This is why trying to find treatment options for pain relief can be so overwhelming and disheartening. But today and throughout this month, we will address different resources available to you. For those not affected by chronic pain, the full impact and consequences of it can be difficult to understand. Chronic pain is often invisible and it can be hard for loved ones to understand why it just isn't getting better. Chronic pain can impact every aspect of daily life, making even the simplest tasks like household chores, walking, standing, or sitting excruciatingly difficult. It robs individuals of their ability to engage in activities they once enjoyed, such as gardening, exercising, or traveling. Sleep may become difficult as the persistent discomfort disrupts rest, contributing to a cycle of exhaustion and heightened pain sensitivity. Maintaining relationships can be challenging as the constant agony often leads to reduced capacity for social interaction. Working may not be possible anymore due to the disabling nature of pain. In addition, people living with pain are often left feeling stigmatized, marginalized, isolated, and like there's nowhere they can turn for help. This affects mental health too, with an increase in anxiety and depression. For those living with chronic pain, know you are not alone. There are resources available. To start, educate yourself about your condition and available treatment options by seeking out reputable information from nonprofit organizations that focus on chronic pain, such as the U.S. Pain Foundation. Being informed empowers you to make decisions about your health and advocate for yourself effectively. Additionally, consider joining a local or online peer support group, such as U.S. Pain's Pain Connection. Such groups provide a safe place to connect with those who understand, while also offering tools, resources, and coping strategies. Some are even focused on particular communities within the world of chronic pain, like veterans, LGBTQ and BIPOC individuals, and caregivers or care partners. Finally, do not hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider for guidance and recommendations on available resources including pain management programs, counseling services, and alternative therapies that could complement your treatment plan and improve your quality of life. Unfortunately, life with chronic pain is a common reality 
for the more than 51.6 million Americans that are grappling with its challenges daily. This prevalence underscores the urgent need for greater awareness, further research, improved treatments, and more community support. The impact of chronic pain extends far beyond physical discomfort, affecting mental health, relationships, and overall quality of life. However, amidst these challenges, there are resources available. From peer support groups to online education, individuals living with chronic pain have avenues to explore for managing their conditions and finding solidarity. By fostering understanding, advocating for improved access to care, and offering compassionate support, we can work toward alleviating the burden of chronic pain and enhancing the well being for those affected. Thank you for joining us. And until next time, remain informed, stay empowered, and take care. Mm -hmm.